Hello everybody, Godzilla Guy here. I'm a little late to this, I'm aware, uh, a couple hours late, but the new Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire trailer has released on YouTube. You've probably seen it everywhere, uh, Instagram, probably TikTok, YouTube, of course. And I just kind of wanted to break it down and also give you guys my opinion. I know you've probably already seen a thousand of these, you know, Dangerville, Goji Center, MIB, but, you know, I'm, I'm a Godzilla YouTuber too, so might as well do my opinion, because apparently that's valued as well, so... Uh, let's get into it. Count this as a live reaction. Here's the trailer up on screen. So as we see, there appears to be a Kong. In my opinion, it looks a little too, like, skinny to be on a lot, a lot of kaiju bones. He's sounded a bit of some big throne. And then, of course, Godzilla and Kong Skull. Now, of course, don't worry. They're, they're definitely not going to kill him off. They're not going to kill off their money makers. No company's going to do that. Uh, what I imagine is that that is probably the Godzilla Origins. If you guys remember, the original title is going to be Origins, and there's a lot of title chain name changes. So I imagine it's most like, oh, there's a scary, angry-looking Kong. But I imagine most likely that that is the ancient battle war that was talked about so much uh, throughout all the movies and comics. And I imagine that's just probably the aftermath. I don't know who that Kong is. Uh, might just be regular Kong. We'll see. He had a blue reflection in his eyes, so I imagine he's like looking at another Godzilla. But yeah. Now, this is actually the fourth uh, title for any MonsterVerse, uh, you know, comic slash movie that has had anything to do with being a king or emperor, you know, kingdom. Of course, there's Godzilla, King of the Monsters. There's Kingdom Kong. Uh, there is Godzilla Dominion. And of course, you know, a king or ruler rules over their dominion. And now Godzilla X Kong. Really weird name, by the way. Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. So it's uh, most likely just going to be a big fight in between. I'd love to see like a horde of Kongs uh, charging at a horde of Godzillas. That'd be really funny. I think it'd be cool if they have, like, um, of course, Doug's gonna be in there. Adam Wingard, shout out to him. <laughs> you guys know who he is. He said he'll have Doug in there if he directs the next movie, and he is, in fact, directing this one, so can't wait to see some more of Doug. But I hope to see maybe, like, a scene where a Kong is, like, you know, taking a dorsal plate, like, it's gonna be a little brutal, but taking a dorsal plate out of a Godzilla, that's where Go uh, Kong can get his axe. But yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Now, that's pretty much a trailer breakdown. It's not really too much. Anybody who tries to make, like, a nine-minute long video... Uh, or like 10 minute, or really anything above like 5 minute long video of a breakdown, they're just extending it for ad revenue, um, there's, you can't really break down a 36 second long thing that much, there might be like some secret bones, but yeah. Now the part that I am actually truly excited to cover, <laughs> who the new kaiju might be, if there is one now, of course there's always the opportunity that it might just be a new, made up, brand new kind of kaiju made by Legendary, which if that's the case, I love to see it, just don't have it be gray. The All the previous, you know, even in the comics, some of the comic monsters have been gray, except like Nikika and Tiamat, but the rest have just been browns, grays, blacks. Color, I beg. I'm pretty sure MIB said the same thing, but it, it's it's true. We need definitely need more color in the MonsterVerse. Uh, you know, Mothra is nice, in my opinion, so get, get some more colorful. Like Mothra and Tiamat, they were perfect. Now, let's say they do bring back an OG Kaiju. There are three that I think could be. I'm going to start with the most outlandish, and then the one I think would be best. So, let's get straight into it. Now, my first pick, as in the one I think the least, will be the new kaiju. <laughs> it has to do with the name. The new empire. Empire, you know? Emperor. I think it's going to be Kaiser Ghidorah. Now, of course, besides the name only, there is pretty much no way possible it's going to be him. Not only I've already had a King Ghidorah, but how is a King Ghidorah going to make its way into the Hollow Earth? I don't see that happening at all. That's just the only one I can think of. Anybody who says, like, you might think that's outlandish, but there's people saying, like, oh, it's it's Orga. I don't see that any way possible either. Next up, uh, second one, I believe. Uh, he's actually one of my favorite kaiju, and I'm very happy. It isn't biased. It's just, I actually have some slight evidence. <laughs> King Caesar. Woohoo. First reason being, recently we got this cool art I'll have up on screen. I don't know the artist's name, I apologize, but he apparently helps out and, like, does some concept art for Legendary. And so this is his own version of King Caesar. It looks awesome. And I've always thought that King Caesar would look amazing and just fit pretty well in the MonsterVerse. Also, whatever that Kong-looking thing is that's in the Hollow Earth looks pretty mad. And now I know if I was trapped underground for a long time, I'd be pretty mad too. Once again, in the original Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, King Caesar was locked in the ground for a long time and had to be freed. So, the, the ground part works out pretty well. Now, of course, the main issue, the fact that 
I don't see King Caesar really being a bad guy for Godzilla, or, or enough of a bad guy for Godzilla and Kong to both have to fight. He's awesome. I'd like to see him be a bad guy, but I don't think he's someone who's strong enough for Godzilla and Kong both to fight. I think that's a little outlandish. Now, the one I am most excited for, my second favorite kaiju, and the one I'm using in this video gameplay, Megalon. And it's not just biased, there are actually a few good reasons. Firstly, Megalon comes from a subterranean kingdom, meaning underground. Also, a question I've seen here and there is, how do the holes to the Hollow Earth get there? What better way than a giant kaiju digging from the Hollow Earth to the surface, aka Megalon? And finally, Empire. You know who was in charge of Megalon and summoned him? Emperor Antonio. Megalon has a bunch of amazing abilities in his disposal that I would love to see in modern day CGI. And I think he's also a strong enough kaiju that is so strong it would take two kaiju like Godzilla and Kong to fight him off. But that's just my thoughts on the matter. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys think it's somebody else, leave a comment down below. Let me know. And if you think there's somebody I missed, also let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, sorry for being a little late. Guys, the guy out. Keep collecting, everybody.